Just tap it. There we go. That looks way better, eh, guys? What do you think? Hello to all my Minecraft friends out there. Welcome back to another build. Uh, I asked you guys if you wanted to see me build a cow head, and you guys liked that idea. So I'm just going to go to bed real quick. This is the inside of my Boba Fett's head. So I'm hoping that you like my design, my interior design. I put glowstone all on the top. Which reminds me, I'll probably have to get some glowstone for the cow head. I've built an area for the cow head. Uh, this is where my zombie spawner is located. And I was doing this, I made this hill just to uh, make sure mobs didn't form within 17 blocks of it. Because the mobs and spiders for some reason love to spawn just above my zombie spawner. Which is right on the other side of that wall. And of course, if they're close, then that makes your zombie uh, spawner not activate or uh, not form zombies as often as they should. So we're going to grab a bunch of these. I might as well grab all of them. Well, I'll just leave one behind. I'll need that because uh, when you're building things like uh, cow heads or uh, any anything with black wool... When it starts to get nighttime, like I noticed when we were building Boba Fett's head there, uh, when it was getting dark, it was kind of hard to see what I was doing, uh, especially for you. Like I could see because I'm using I'm on my computer. And I'm building it right then and there, but uh, it's dark in there, so I'm going to try and keep building only during the daytime for you guys. All right, so. I'm just going to click this button just for a second. I'm just going to drag this picture in front. These are the two pictures I'm using as reference for my cow head. And just like all other heads, they're 8x8. Eight eight. Uh, I think that they're usually 7 deep uh, because the cows are the, sh the way they are shaped. But I still make mine square all the way around. So I'm just going to put them off to the side. We're just doing the head today. I might want to build the a whole cow someday. It just takes a crazy amount of time. So let's start with uh, our edge blocks. There's one there and there. And I'm pretty sure all along the sides is black. That's easy enough. And it probably goes up four high on both sides. So let's just do that. Because that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so that was that four. Then I go five. That's one, two. I'll well, need the st staircase. That's three to get back up. And that's four. So this was wrong. No, that's actually right. You know what? Uh, another thing too is it's not all black uh, in the picture, as you can see here. That eyeball is black. And that would be like a brown. So we're going to use some dark brown wool. And again, I have tutorials on how to make wool. And I didn't bring any black or brown wool. That's supposed to be his eyeball. Why would you take that out? Uh, one, two, three, four. And the fifth one. Is that three or four? That's three. And this would be the fourth spot. And that's supposed to be uh, brown. That's going to be his eyeball right there. Uh, let's take that out uh, to his left is going to be white that's going to be the other part of the eye this is going to be black, black for now and this would be brown but at the moment we're going to do black just to get up there and this is going to be the eyeball or the pupil that will be the other part of the eye let's do that just for a second and we'll do gray gray so that's the whole eyeball right there okay that's just to get me back down i don't think i'll make it i'm not gonna make it okay and this will be gray oops gray and let's my number two, I just took a screenshot because I pressed the wrong number two. 
Okay, so, and then right behind the eyeball is going to be brown. One thing I didn't make is a whole lot of brown, so that's his eyeballs. He looks kind of funny. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be white. I guess well, I just want to get some of it done before I have to go and get f more wool. And that's gonna be what? That's gonna be white. That's not gonna be there. And this is gonna be white. And then we're gonna go uh, light gray, light gray, and then black, black. That's his nostrils. And then this is gonna be our doorway. So. That's just the way that's going to be. And we'll go white on top of the nose. And then the rest will be brown. And then just above that. Yeah, i got to get some brown. Sorry, guys. I don't know why I don't have the brown with me. I, wasn't, I think I was just going to do it all black. Uh, brown will be here. I only got 24 brown. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of cocoa beans. I'll leave that there as reference. So we'll use a little bit of brown just to get us through the situation. Uh, just double checking, making sure I didn't have any leftovers. I don't think I have any more cocoa beans. I do, uh, somebody did ask me, why don't you just make like a whole bunch of, uh, like a sheep farm and color them all different colors. I have done that. It's a video called, um, did I screw that up? Holy crap, did I ever screw that up? A video I made called um, Rainbow Sheep. So basically, um, I'm just going to get this done so I can start talking again. So I did a video called Rainbow Sheep. And it's basically breeding sheep and then coloring them all different colors so that when you need those colors, you just go and shear the sheep. So there we go. So I'm going to put brown. Just so you there's a difference between between the eye and uh, the pupil. And let's put brown there and we'll put uh, brown there. Number nine spot. And we said brown there. And then the rest will be black. He does look like he's all brown, doesn't he? We'll put brown to there. I'll do brown there, there, and there. And then that's supposed to be starting to go gray. And then the rest will be white up to the top. So just above the eye is going to be brown on the outside. And then black is going to be there. And then we'll go black one more. And that's the top of the head. It's funny in the picture. Right here, it's black there, but white on top. So again, you can't build exactly to the specs of these drawings because sometimes, I don't know, uh, there's different kind of mapping going on. They're not made out of blocks. They're skins, right? So... And they're just wrapped around things. So that's going to be, this is going to be gray here, I believe. Let's go dark gray. And then go over one. So shift S, dark gray. And then we will switch to light gray. And that's one, two, three. And then above here will be black. How about we press black? There you go. So that's going to be the whole front of his face. What I'll do is I'll speed this part up just to do the whole top of his head. Ready? Go. All right. So now I'm going to fill in the rest. And go. So that's the top of the head. Just off the side, he has horns or ears. 
so uh, I'm pretty sure this one's going to be the dark gray. Just underneath this is going to be uh, black. So I'm just going to do a jump. And that's the top of our ear or a horn maybe. So I'll do another one off the side and I'll go to bed and then we'll continue building. Uh, and then gray. How about we do gray? And then we uh, chop that down. So let's go to bed. Let's look at it real quick. Oh, he's almost done. He's almost done. Another fast build. Okay, so just above... Uh, good morning, by the way. Uh, let's just make this is going to be white. White and white. We're going to have a double door. I think I have a thingy in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Just enough for two doors. You know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to probably make iron doors. I just realized because iron doors will look like gray, right? Okay, and we'll need pressure plates. Once again, I am out of wood. Let's go get some wood. Because we need pressure plates. Do I have any wood there? No. I'll be right back. And it looks like I got a whole crap load of pressure plates. Don't mean need to make any. One, two, three, four. And I'll put these doors there. Look at that. I already had doors made. Um, and we will grab a stack of wood. And let's go. Alright, we're back. Uh, we are going to grab our shovel. Dig this out. And we are going to make... That was another thing too. You don't have to use gray wool. You could use stone. And you need to get stone. You can either uh, smelt uh, cobblestone in your furnace. And that will make stone. Or you can uh, use your silk touch enchanted pickaxe. Uh, let's do a pink walkway in. As if it's his tongue. Uh, we will put our doors there. And put them on the outside of his face. So click on this this side. And we will put down our pressure plate. So the doors will be active. I should have just used the door. How about that? Silly. Okay, i got to put it there. Well, I can't put it there because we need to dig this out. And I went down too deep. Uh, where's my dirt pile? So the inside of his mouth, I think would be kind of cool if we do the whole tongue thing like we've done with the cat. And the reason I use stone for the foundation uh, is because you're not going to see it anyway. Miles will use up resources that you have for the areas that aren't going to be seen. Also, every once in a while a creeper will blow up stuff and if you use wool for your foundation, it's just more to rebuild. Uh, the chances of a creeper wrecking your uh, stone foundation is somewhat slim. I'm just trying to think of what I need. Let's make... Uh, see, I can't use pink. Well, this is pink. Just... I need... Oh! Can! Okay, we're back. So, uh, let's put that there, that there, that there. And our pressure plate's there. All right, so we'll put these in real quick. And the rest will be... Let's go dark gray. Okay, the back of our head is going to be black. We'll leave that there just for a minute because... I don't even have the, a picture of the back of his head, but we can make our own little design. The side of his head. Look at that. Nice jump. Uh, that's going to be black. And the 
other ear or horn is going to be black. And this side of his head is black and brown. So we've got to get rid of this white. I should use that for steps. And we will quickly grab our dirt and make a scaffold. Okay, we are up in the air. Okay, so we'll just build our wall. From here back, it looks like it's six or sorry, five pink wool. So there's just behind the ear, there's one, two, three, four, five. And then the rest is going to be black and brown. So let's keep going with this brown and black. I only have 10 left. So. I'll just use five and we'll just put it kind of intermittent. I'll put one there and black, 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 and fall. That's what I wanted to do, as you could tell. Let me put those pressure plates in before I forget. There you go. Nice, still haven't done his face. Um, so the front of his face, we've got gray, brown. That's supposed to be brown right there. Good thing I remember that. And then above his eye was brown, black, and that's gonna be light gray. This is eyeball, and then this is going to be black. I hate when I do that. And black, black, and then so that's his nose, eyeball, brown, white, and then or gray, and then white, white, all the way up to the top. That actually is supposed to be black. Let's put more black down here. I'm gonna run out of black, guys. Dang nabbit. Uh, and that's supposed to be... Let's go gray. And white. So we got a little bit of a checkerboard thing going on. See, the problem is... <laughs> the... Uh, I was wondering where that went. This camouflage with the white and the green. So as you can tell, it looks like a mishmash. So now either I have to replace all the black uh, with brown because the colors just aren't the same. If I go here, I won't be able to show you both at the same time. But there's definitely a, a, a color. It's, mine looks so chaotic compared to that. I guess if I back up more, does it still look like a cow, guys? I don't know. I'm a little disappointed. I guess what I'd like to do maybe is to bump this out so he has like a muzzle. The doors kind of mess it up a bit. Maybe if I move the doors out to the side. I don't know. It looks kind of too checkerboardish. How much black do I have left? I don't think I have enough. Especially when I screw up like that. I think that's the whole side. Done. And I don't think I need to get back up here again. The problem with the diamond <laughs> shovel is you can get carried away real quick, just like that. Nothing a pile of dirt wouldn't fix. 
So uh, I'm gonna pause the video for a quick sec. I'll go get some more wool, and in the morning we'll continue this on. Hang on. All right, guys, we're back. So now either we replace. some of these uh, black blocks with the dark gray, then I'll give us a little bit more definition between uh, the other parts of his face. So let's put dark gray and see what happens. That might be the answer to our problem. Again, we know the cow is black but we're having an issue with color. Nice. Okay. We want to have a define or a definition between. See, that looks a little bit better. Maybe totally taking away the, the brown. Let's see what happens if we do that. Um... See that? Something, I guess one of the brown blocks hit the door. I didn't know that could set that off. The things you learn when you're building a cow head. Does that look more like the cow head or what? It's almost like this, this shouldn't be here either, right? So, you guys let me know what you think. Let's collect all this garbage. Look at that. Who knew? So does that look better? I think it does. It looks more like the cow head. Uh, I guess the only thing I did wrong uh, is right near the top. I kind of like having this checkerboard going bump, bump, bump all the way to there. And we did not continue that pattern. Let's go that. There we go. Just tap it. There we go. That looks way better, eh, guys? What do you think? And if I just go up a bit and look down at it, that looks more like a cow head. Let's go back a bit, too. There you go. So that's what the cow head should look like. That's as close as I can get with the con the colors that I have. It is possible that you could use some of the other elements of the of Minecraft to figure out some of the other colors you need. Uh, I'm gonna kill that and I'm gonna fall to my death, right? No, I'm not gonna die. Come on. And there we go again. Okay. So let's just finish up the back of his head, now that I have enough. So the rest of it can be black, it's just that we need the... Um, I just need to go up, I guess. Elevator. We just need the rest of this to... Uh, the front to be defined. De definitely. Definitely defined. Definitely. What I was thinking while I was here, at this height, is to put in... Our lighting so we can see what we're doing I think that should be the spot right there yeah nice can I get through nope of course not uh, get our lights back it's our number nine spot Very cool. And I put four in the middle. And that is our lighting, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll put white just for 
reflective purposes. It'd be interesting to see if that actually dims our lighting a bit. So that side's done. You know what? I just realized I screwed that up. Let's fix that real quick. This is supposed to be uh, a line of gray and or white. All the way to the back. Let's start off with gray. And we'll go to white. Since we got lots of white and gray. Much better. Look at that. Sweet. And then the cat meows. Uh, take this down. I should be able to reach everything from here. Let's put a spot on the back of his head. Just for fun. And we'll cut this off. And we'll put white. And we'll fill this in black. The back of his head's done. Take away our scaffolding. And I, what did I do? Okay. That almost sounded like a creeper. You know how much I like creepers. If you're watching my survival island, you will have learned that I got fried several times. Uh, there. Perfect. And we are going to go white. And then gray. And the rest is black. And we are pretty much done. Our cow head. Thanks for asking me to do it. I've been wanting to do a cow head for a while. And look, it's almost nighttime. Uh, I like that as is. We have to put up a few torches to light the way. All right. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, I think I should be able to knock this down with my efficiency silk touch without wrecking it all. There we go. And if we put some nice flowers and stuff in front, that'll pretty it up. And if I put the torches in the right spot, we can put a couple more torches up. There we go. And let's get up high so we can take a quick picture. I'm probably a little bit too close. So there you go, guys. There's our cow head. I don't like being that close to it. It doesn't look good. There we go. Much better. A little too close. So thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and rate, and let me know what you think of my cow head and my Boba Fett head. All right? Uh, somebody asked me to make a TNT house. Uh, if you have any suggestions on colors, uh, because there's only so many colors, and a TNT uh, is very difficult. Let me just double-click that, get that open. As you can see, it's like red, and then it goes to like a light dark red. So uh, give me some hints on that, and we will build you a TNT house. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, rate, and we will talk to you later. Bye, guys.